Welcome back again to Shanghai. Welcome to my home. It's Tiger time. time. Don't you know? Don't you know? It is getting hot. It is getting hot. 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 Yo, we are here now on our way uh, to our final yeah, destination, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, you know, public transportation is super convenient uh, in China. We just ordered a Didi, it's a kind of taxi here in China. It means that you can book uh, taxis, uh, licensed taxis and also private drivers. Uh, this is a private, private driver, uh, Mr. Zhong, and he's taking us today uh, here to Puxi. Uh, the district is called Puxi in Shanghai. You see it's a very, very far uh, destination, in total 15.4 kilometers. You can see it already here. And also uh, remaining time 39 minutes. I just clicked the button and I also got upgraded at the same time so you can see we have a very nice car here it's a Buick so it's an e-car mm -hmm. uh, sitting here as a like a president it feels very nice since it is very hot outside we decided today uh, to not take the subway that's just about uh, public transportation yeah because we can afford to go by taxi everywhere here in China because we are super rich foreigners no, no we are not act actually we are not no I'm just kidding um, but yeah, it's. We said it in the last time here in Shanghai. It's just much more convenient than the subway here. It's super crazy. And now we are taking the taxi for 40 minutes, and uh, what we pay is just uh, approximately six euro. Six euro for 40 minutes ride uh, in a very nice car. I think that is it's a good deal. <laughs> So what is going on? We are again in Shanghai. Um, it's actually now three weeks later after you saw the last episode and it was also in Shanghai. Um, yeah, so Digga and me, we are, uh, we are planning a lot of things these days and there will be an update about what is going on. So there's a lot of stuff right now going on. This is also why we visit each other so often. Um, but yeah, it's an exciting time and today we are uh, we spent also a lot of time um, in his apartment today because we planned many things but like I said there will be an update later about that the rest of the day it's almost sunset time now um, we decided to go over here what is this Sebastian for a place very old uh, slaughterhouse building so around uh, 1920 1910 they sent all the pigs into this house and uh, yeah they were slaughter slaughtering them inside Special here the structure of the of the floor. It's a cattle pass. Yeah. So uh, when the slaughterhouse opened, they were like rushing these pigs through this area, and it was very slippery the ground because of blood or water. And Hello. this helped them. This kind of cattle pass helped them to get along. As you can see now, um, the vlogs are not only fun anymore, or just like about the traveling or whatever. You also get like in-depth information from Sebastian now when, when he's in the vlog so um, it's also an educational TV here Yeah. This guy, this guy just take a great picture of myself. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, that was really, really interesting nice. uh, because we are also now talking about uh, because he's from Hong Kong yeah. and you can feel the difference because I just first met him. Sebastian was at a different place and he immediately said like, but he's not Chinese. He's from, he's from, from Hong Kong. <laughs> so that was, what was oh, okay. that was pretty interesting yeah. um, that he immediately knew it and yeah. Um, so he just asked me to take some pictures of him um, yep. because he also likes the location. Real nice, so. real nice man. And now we're just having a, a small talk. Yeah. That's Bong from Hong Kong. <laughs> yep. Well, too bad I'm not a YouTuber, so I can, you know, follow me on something, something. Yeah. But yeah, whatever.
uh, we had a long, long chat. We we flew yes. the drone. Many things happened. Uh, yeah. It was really, really interesting to meet them. Maybe I will. Uh, I will. Journey. I will visit Germany yeah. sometime soon. Hopefully, when I get rich. Yeah. 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 All right. It was great. Great to meet. We'll meet, meet again. Yeah. 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 What's going on? Uh, I don't know. But there's a no-name company here having a huge event. Look at this. Look at this. No name company. For some entertainment tonight. You can see that it's a the art teacher giving some instructions. Quite interesting to see. Sweet bit. Sweet my my. Sweet bit. Sweet my my. Sweet bit. Sweet my. Bonjour. As much as I love China, but this is something that I don't understand. Why are people parking their bikes there on the on, on the street? Why they are doing this? Can you tell me this? It's so stupid. Like we arrived here with our taxi driver, and our taxi driver couldn't go further the street because there are bikes on the on the street and people are parking them there. Why? time and like we did it before today um, you will get some more information about our location where we're having dinner and uh, what we are eating here from our host of this vlog Mr. Sebastian Digi Digi Dick 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 so be ready for this yeah welcome here to this Donghuan restaurant uh, Donghuan is a region in China um, we have several dishes here uh, the food is very influenced by the meat yeah, so they have amazing meat sticks here. It looks like that. Uh, the price for that is uh, 15 RMB, which is approximately 2 euro. Um, it is great over the flame and comes fresh to your table. So it's amazing and delicious. Crispy from the outside and juicy from the inside. Then we have here um, some snack. You can eat alongside the noodles, uh, handcrafted beef noodles uh, for 15 RMB as well, which is also 2 euro around. We have some meat pieces inside and uh, noodles together with some vegetables. The noodles are handcrafted, which will you also see in the video later. Um, alongside with that you get a beer, a truly local beer, which is very difficult to find uh, in the normal shop here. Delicious. You see, good environment here, people are happy, this is how it should be. So how do you like the food? I like it very much. The noodles is the cheap and also all the materials is coming from the, the food itself. It's from the nature. It's very, very nice. What is your favorite uh, dish among these? Yeah, stick. The beef stick? Yeah. Yeah, that's also my favorite. And it's also my favorite because I uh, like meat and uh, I told the Sebastian so he said to me, um, we will find a good place for you. So. 
the beef is amazing. Sorry to all the uh, vegans and vegetarians, but we like beef and meat, and this I is really amazing. We for sure go for another round now. Um, what I wanted to say? Diddy. Uh, Diddy, yeah. It's Diddy time again. It's Diddy time again. Uh, I know it's not good for the environment if everyone takes his private car, but this is crazy. So um, we want to go now to a bar, and it's like. Seven Kwai, the drivers going there with us for I for one for one euro. No one would ever pick you up in Germany for one euro and drive you like how far is it like a few kilometers? Yeah. Yeah, but it's amazing. It's crazy. It's crazy. and also president of the World Hair Association Company. What's nothing going on here? And maybe what? also the prices are very peppered here. Not even a single guest. So, <coughs> I'm lost. Second floor is upstairs. I want to sell here. That's me. So he's the same man. Already reserved. You are Ukraine. <laughs> Sergio, I sent you some greetings with uh, a pillow from Ukraine. I will use this. about the cultural difference. What did he say? Uh, yeah, he's, he, he also said that he, he doesn't like a lot about the old guys. They always sit in the Starbucks and occupy the seats. And uh, they buy the drinks, they want to find the seat, they can't find. But the, the old people, they occupy all the seats and they even don't buy anything. And they also even bring the, the pet. That's why he's very emotional in it. So all in all, it was a good experience with this guy because um, he had like an amazing car. He had an amazing car. Just paid now uh, and uh, gave him a five star rating. Yeah, um, so it was really, really nice. Um, he even had like an air yeah. purifier or how do you call these things? Air purifier? Uh, air cleaner, yeah. Yeah, air cleaner in, in this car. Um, it's not his full time job, no. He's no, just, no, doing, no, this. He's just doing this for fun because um, his wife, wife and his and kids are so noisy too noisy at home. Yeah. yeah, that was a great experience. So that's it for today. Time to end uh, another Shanghai vlog. We had another great day in Shanghai. Um, like I mentioned before, um, Sebastian and I, we were planning a lot of stuff um, what is coming up in the future. I will um, talk about this in another vlog. Um, but yeah, we had another great day. Oh, guys. Perfect. Yes. And especially, uh -huh. especially the meat and now the great experience with the driver was the perfect ending for today. So see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in and bye bye. Actually, there's one more thing that I want to show you because I just saw it here in my room where I'm sleeping. Look at this. Ooh, what is this?